Because a lot of people, they legit get anxious if they don't hear from their partner for a long time. And, Mm -hmm. you know, sometimes you really can't help it. You know, sometimes you really are busy. You you know, you can't be pulled away from whatever you're doing. So sometimes it helps Mm -hmm. if you really can't message or reply to every single message. You can say something like, thinking of you, or I'm doing this, and I can reply at this time. So that... You know, at least let them know that you're thinking of them or let them know when to expect a reply and not like leave them hanging. Because I think that that's the the issue there. It's like you're leaving me hanging. I don't know what you're doing. It's like y- there's no no reassurance from you. Mm-hmm. So it's like until I get that thing where I know that you are thinking of me or I know that, you know, you're not completely, you didn't completely forget about me. It's like they don't feel at peace. Because I know that That's half true. the people in the population, they, they really do get anxiety. That's true. No, you, you make a very good point. Yeah, I agree completely. I think that when in the little opportunity you get, especially if your partner's an anxious type, just kind of message them and say like, you know, like a little reassuring yeah. message to, it'll make their day, guys. Yeah. It'll, it'll make them happy. And it's, it's going to lessen like their dependency on you not that being dependent is that a bad thing because you know some people it's it's inherent we're gonna talk about this in another podcast because i have a lot of things to say this um attachment types you can look it up on youtube if you guys want to check out the full episode click the link on the screen or head on over to spotify apple podcasts or wherever podcasts are available thanks for listening and we'll see you soon